everybody, Will Tafan over here. I want to share with you, Google just changed something huge on your Google listing. Every couple of years, Google loves to change things like major changes though. And this time, it's how you update your Google listing. So let me kind of explain the differences going forward. And this is already activated already. And I think there's pros and cons to what Google changed. So let me go over the changes with you. And there's something, um, yeah, going forward, you really have to be mindful how to update your Google listing. So this is the change. Traditionally, in the past, what you do is if you want to update your Google listing itself, and as I mentioned all those fine in previous videos, you have to add a lot more information onto your Google listing. The more information you put in there, obviously the better it is for families. That way when they're looking up your information on your Google listing, the more likely they're just going to call you because you got a lot of information on there. And Google's intention is to just bypass your website, right? There's a lot of information on here to the point they just call you. So it's very critical you add in a lot more information onto your Google listings, such as right your products and services, Q and A feature, description, pictures, stuff like that. So in the good old days, this is where the major changes just happen. In the good old days, for single location, most of you just have one single location or multiple locations. In the good old days, what you do is you just go on google.com forward slash business or business.google.com to update your listing, right? This is the portal that everybody logs in, whether you're Starbucks, McDonald's, right? Whether you have a dry cleaner, like you all go into this portal to basically update your listing, right? You got a info to update your business information, right? This is where you update your business information. You got a reviews to respond to your reviews. You got a calls to track your calls. You got a message if you have it enabled so that way people can message you. You got a photos to update your photos, right? Everything's basically in this portal here. However, going forward, this is where the major changes are coming is now instead of logging in to this portal, you update it directly on the search engine. And the main thought behind this is from Google's point of view, there's probably right <laughs> uh, tons of business out there and they do not know how to update their listing, right? Your small mom and pop operation, how would they know? First of all, they have to update their listing. And second is how, where to update their listing. And just a lot of information for a regular mom and pop business to know how to update. So Google wants to simplify the process. Instead of logging in to this portal, they want to make it easy. You update it directly on the search engine results. So that's show you the differences here between the two. So first of all is you can, obviously you need to log in to your account first. You can type in your own business name or just type in my business, for example, okay? Then, okay, if you have a single location, okay? So this one has multiple locations, okay? So, but for a single location, supposedly it should show up like this, okay? If you type in my business into the search, into the search uh, here, or you just type in your business name. So this is what you will see. So the good thing here is, wow, I actually get to update the information directly from here. So you type in, I'm sorry, you click on edit profile. This is where on the fly you get to update your business information, right? Your name, category, description, opening date, content information, website, right? Hours, stuff like that, okay? This is where you used to go into the old portal, you go to info, and this is where you update it. Now on the fly, you get updated directly from here. That's pretty cool, right? 
If you want to just update your hours, you can change it on the fly. If you're open or close on a holiday, you got to let people know. So it's very simple, right? Or you can also add in products and services on here on the fly. Right, very simple. And you can add photos very, very simply now just by dragging and drop in here. In the good old days, right, you have to log in again to your Google uh, My Business, go down to photos and then drag and drop in here. Okay, so you can see Google really want more people to be updating their listing. So I made it very, very simple. Reviews wise, you want to respond to your reviews. You just click on customers, tap on reviews, and this is where you respond to reviews or flag it for reviews. In a good old portal here, you have to log in, then go to reviews. From here, that's where you respond. Okay. So you can see it's very similar, just if you're logged in, you can change things on the fly without logging to a portal. And you can also look at, at your stats by clicking on here, right? You get to see on the fly the stats for your business, okay? In a good old day, you have to come in here, go to insights, and then it shows you all the pretty graphs, okay? So this is, I think overall, this is definitely better change i love this new change all for this new change it simplifies this owners for updating their listing the more uh simplified it is the more likely more people are going to be updating their listing so that's one major change on how you are going to be going forward on how to update your google listing so you just go on google log in Right to your po uh, just log in to with your Gmail, and then on the fly, just search your own name or just type in my best. You get to update your listing. Very very simple now. So that's one major change. If you still have multiple locations, you can update it individually like that. Or if you have multiple locations, Google will still keep that portal because you're managing multiple businesses. For single location businesses, Google will be removing that portal. For single business we do not know when most likely sometime in 2022 you will not be able you already have a habit of going on google my business to update your listing uh, you gotta start to get familiar with just searching your own business name and updating from there and google loves to change names of its products so it already changed this whole thing instead of calling it google my business it's changing it to Google Business Profile, right? It's going to be called Google Business Profile. So in the good old days, right, it used to be called multiple names. It used to be called Google Local and then or Google Places, and it got changed to Google Plus, Google Plus Local, and then eventually it changed to Google My Business. And now it got changed again to Google Business Profile. Okay, so a lot of changes I'll kind of record more videos as I play with more of these, but um, I do love the new change. But most of us don't love change, but this is a good change to love it. If any questions, let me know.